Meg Thee Stallion's crazy dating history. She's officially in her hashtag healing girl era, and we're here for it. The last few years have been nothing short of crazy for Houston rapper Meg Thee Stallion. She's traded the studio for the courtroom, lost friends, found herself in some drama, and released new music that has made her one of the most popular artists in the world. But recently, it seems like Meg is done with the grind. With two successful studio albums, a laundry list of chart-topping singles, and some of the most iconic music videos of her generation, fans are in agreement that The Stallion has earned her space. Now, they're supporting a different kind of venture, the hunt for Mr. Right. Since she burst into the scene back in 2019, Meg has been linked to some of the hottest in the business, from athletes to singers. Meg don't discriminate and is definitely no stranger to enjoying her life and wanting to share it with someone special. So let's just get right into it. Let's take a look at Megan Thee Stallion's crazy dating history. Meg has always been that girl. Her confident, sexy, and fun vibe is infectious. And as a result, guys have been lining up to get a bite of that since before she was famous. If you've been there since the early days, you'll remember her suggestive relationship with R&B legend Trey Songz. The two were spotted together on multiple occasions in clubs and bars, looking like a little more than just friends. But neither party confirmed anything official, so they remain just that, friends. Trey made the first move, shooting his shot and trying to wrangle the stallion on Twitter, saying, big old freak makes me want to knock the stallion off for the culture. Meg flirted back, somebody tell Trigger he can't handle me, followed by a string of laughing emojis. The R&B singer kept it cool, firing back with, let me see some real quick. Things heated up when a rumor began that spread that said Meg and Trey celebrated Halloween together. And things got even steamier when in November, Meg attended a dinner in honor of Trey turning 35. She even gave a toast to the singer and reports claimed the two sat next to each other pretty much the whole night. But everything was not as it seems. And shortly after pics of the dinner were posted, Meg took to Twitter to clear things up. If I ain't claiming him, he ain't mine. Simple. But that wasn't enough to stop fans speculating about whether the Na Na singer was actually romantically involved with the Houston native. A user took to Twitter and asked the body rapper, so was it worth it? What trigger hidden for sis? To which Meg clapped back, I ain't hit so I don't know, lol. Meg's relationship with Trey Songz takes on a whole new level of messiness when you consider that throughout this whole thing, Meg was already in a committed public relationship with Memphis rapper Moneybag Yo. Early in 2019, Meg debuted her relationship with the rapper on Insta, with the pair reportedly having got together during the production of Meg's second EP, Tina Snow. Moneybag Yo is even featured on a track, Make a Bag. They were a regular site in nightclubs and venues around Houston and Memphis. For a while, the couple looked like celeb dynamite. They attended Rihanna's fifth annual Diamond Ball benefit in September, and despite walking the red carpet solo, Bag found time to give the cameras what they wanted, a little PDA with his it girl beau. In late 2019, they hit the studio again, this time to record Moneybag's hit, All That, which peaked at number 70 on the Billboard Hot 100. But their commercial success, both as artists and partners, was starting to show its cracks. Things probably weren't helped by the whole Mr. Still Your Girl situation Mrs. Meg had found herself in. Soon, rumors of a split began to take over as the pair removed all traces of each other from their social media accounts that November. Despite the dreaded Insta cleanse, Moneybag Yo claimed the pair were good, but come on, we all know what that means. By January 2020, the cat was out the bag, with Yo confirming on the Rap Life podcast that he and Meg had gone their separate ways. The Me vs. Me rapper had nothing but love, though, for his former collaborator and girlfriend, telling Ebro Darden, I'm really proud of her. The Megan y'all know and the Megan I know are two different things. Still love. No bad blood. We just didn't see eye to eye. After a little time away from the dating game, Meg bounced back. And just in time for Hot Girl Summer, her first rebound was with West Coast rapper g Easy. The pair sent fans into meltdown after a PDA filled video was released to social media, showing the Me, Myself, and I rapper kissing on Megan and getting up close and personal. g Easy, whose real name is Gerard, became a frequent sight next to the 510 Houston rapper as they were spotted getting cozy again. 
this time at the Maxim Big Game Experience pre-Super Bowl party. Meg and Gerald put on a love-up display, dancing up against one another and leaving little to the imagination. But unlike her rumored relationship with Trey Songs, which she let Stu and simmer for a while, once the accusations started to fly, Meg was quick to set the record straight. She tweeted out, LOL, all right, now y'all got all jokes, but I am not fucking g Easy." Gerald also chimed in, clarifying that the pair are just friends. I think she's incredible. I think she's beautiful and she's talented and she's a lovely lady, he told E.T. Are you sure you're just friends, Gerald? The g Easy stallion romance was a short-lived pandemic that thankfully by mid-2020 had run its course. And with the world starting to feel the strain of the real pandemic, Meg Thee Stallion found herself entangled with another R&B artist. Photos surfaced of Meg spending time with Toronto native Tori Lanez, as the pair were spotted on numerous occasions, breaking lockdown rules to hang out. Meg was quick to defend her relationship with the pint-sized singer, calling Tori a friend. Now, where have we heard that before? With her solo career at an all-time high, Meg couldn't have known it at the time, but her relationship with Tori was about to get real messy real fast. In July, an incident took place that would put a halt to Meg's seemingly unstoppable rise, almost overnight. Alongside Kelsey Nicole, a close friend of the Houston MC, Tori and Meg attended a party at Kylie Jenner's Hollywood Hills home. It's not clear what really took place, but sources have mentioned multiple times that during the party, the Broken A Minute singer and Kylie were getting a little too cozy for Meg's liking. When it came time to leave, a fight broke out inside their SUV and ended in Lynette shooting Meg in the foot. The media coverage was feral. For a long time, there was a lot of he said, she said, and nobody really knew what had gone down. Why were they fighting? Why did Tori have a gun? Why did he shoot it at Megan? Was it an accident? Is Megan going to be okay? Fans were relieved when Meg finally addressed the incident. The stallion sat down with Gail King and spilled the tea on what really happened outside Kylie's home in the hills. Meg finally confirmed that Tori had indeed been the one that shot her and not security like so many people had assumed. She was also asked about the nature of her relationship with the Toronto artist. King kept it simple asking if there had been a romantic relationship after all. Megan replied, like sexual? Um, I didn't have a sexual relationship with Tori. Pretty straightforward, right? No tweets, no emojis, just an emotional and honest answer from a girl going through a lot of hurt. Except that wasn't actually true. You see, an LAPD police investigation eventually charged Lenez with felony assault and gun charges. This meant that this was all gonna go to court. When the trial finally took place, Tori's prosecutor revealed that the pair had actually been in an intimate relationship, contradicting Megan's early statement to Gail King. The fact she lied didn't help her case, and fans wondered what else she might have been lying about regarding the Hill shooting. But after three years of long and drawn out court proceedings, Lanez was found guilty and is currently facing a potential of nearly 22 years behind bars. But Meg didn't let this slow her down. Being a savage is in her DNA, and there was a brighter future on the horizon for Megan Thee Stallion. Shortly after the incident with Troy, Meg became involved with someone who fans believed was going to be Mr. Right, introducing partisan party Fontaine. The songwriter and producer had a huge impact on Megan's life, both professionally and romantically. The pair first crossed paths when Party was brought on to help produce the Savage remix, which earned Megan her first Grammy. Another creative link-up took place between the two later that year when they collabed again, this time on the controversial but still hugely successful banger, WAP. With another hit on their hands, Meg decided to let Party hit, and then some. She confirmed a new relationship on Instagram Live a few weeks after the release of the track. He is so calm and so sweet and very, you know, that's my boo, and I really like him. He is so perfect, and he would never do anything to hurt me, just so y'all know. Megan capped off the loved up display with a simple message to her fans. I never said hot girls can't have boyfriends. Party also confirmed their relationship on his Insta with a slideshow of photos and videos of the two, dropping a steamy yet romantic glimpse into the pair's love life. And for a while, the couple looked like they were in paradise. They made their red carpet debut at the iHeartRadio Music Awards and continued their creative partnership with Party working on another stallion hit, Thought Shit. 
In October of 2022, they celebrated their two anniversary with a familiar set of cute Insta posts sharing their love for each other. Around this time, the Tori Lanez trail was really starting to heat up, with Megan finding herself increasingly under fire and scrutinized on social media for her role in the shooting. Her BF decided to step in, tweeting out, to anyone with a sister, mother, niece, or aunt, I pray for their protection. I pray for their covering. I wouldn't wish this on anyone, making him a fan favorite amongst the stallions. Meg announced she would be taking a break from the spotlight and instead turning her full attention to the ongoing trial. Soon, the Insta posts that used to be plenty and frequent began to appear less and less. There were fewer and fewer papped pics of the couple and rumors like they always do began to spread that the two had gone their separate ways. Meg even added more fuel to the fire when she unfollowed Party on Insta and deleted all of their Instagram photos together. Now, where have we seen this before? The pair officially split in February 2023, and neither party has made any official comments regarding the breakup since. Meg again took a little time off from dating, needing some space to recover from a two-year-long relationship. It had been the rapper's most serious and long-standing foray into romance yet, and she obviously needed some time to cool off and work on herself. Since the split, Megan is back to keeping things casual. She's since been linked to two athletes from different sides of the Atlantic Ocean. In April, pictures emerge of the stallion and NFL player Travis Kelce attending the CMT Music Awards together. Dreads World reported that the Super Bowl-winning tight end even flew Meg across Texas to see him on his private jet. While nothing has been confirmed by either party, the receipts are there and it's reported that the two started out as friends and have since developed into something more. Her other rumor beau is Belgian international footballer Romelu Lukaku. The two made tabloid headlines when they were spotted holding hands at a wedding for the Belgian footballer's teammate in the May of 2023, just a month after her Texas rendezvous. Against the backdrop of Lake Como, Meg stunned in a figure hugging eye-catching dress, while her athlete partner kept it casual opting for a black suit. Both Megan and the footballer are currently signed to Jay-Z's Rock Nation management and are yet to make any official comments on the rumors. It's obvious that after all the drama with Linez and the breakdown of a two-year relationship with Party, Meg needs some time to work on herself, find her happiness being single, and have some fun. All her most recent relationships have been flings, nothing serious and a sign that she's moving on from her songwriter beau. But what do you think is next for the Houston rapper? Do you think love is in her future? Or has she been hurt too many times to let Mr. Right in? Let us know in the comments below and tune in tomorrow for more True Celeb stories. Thanks for watching.